Hello again. I'm still in this hotel room. I'm filming a couple of videos here. You probably have already seen my uh, last one on journey. So now in this video we are going to talk about the position of our head. Um, it's quite common that uh, we, when we are talking about the position of the rider and the rider's seat, we are focusing very much on the pelvis and that is really important but however the problem is not always the pelvis quite often you actually hear people and instructors and um, trainers say that everything starts from the pelvis and all the problems start from the pelvis but it, i don't think it's always the case because in our body everything affects everything so uh, it might be a problem somewhere else and it affects our pelvis or vice versa so now we are going to talk about our head position and uh, we <clears throat> we want our head to be in same line as I have this <laughs> here but uh, we want our head to be in the same line as the rest of our body, so our pelvis, our ribcage and our head. Quite often our head uh, goes a little bit forward like this if we you know, are doing a lot of things on the computer or we're riding a lot and looking down because that's quite common. I also do that, I look down, so I really need to focus on my head being on top of the rest of my body. If I start turning my head down like this, you can try this as well. You might uh, find that my weight, you probably cannot see it a lot, but I can feel that my weight is starting to go forward, even though I'm just tilting my head forward. Also, if I'm going to tilt my head to the side, now I first find equal weight on both my seat bones. And now I'm going to tilt my head to the side. And again, you probably cannot see it, but if you try this, you will feel that the weight in my pelvis and on my seat bones, or your seat bones, is going to shift a little bit. Like now I have more weight on this seat bone. Even though I'm not doing anything from my pelvis, I'm just tilting my head and the other way also. And also if I turn my head, then when I turn it up, I can feel this shifting of weight in my seat bones as well. And quite often you actually see people like uh, just tilting their head to the side like this or like this or in really funny ways and it really affects the rest of our seat and the rest of our body. So it's quite useful to really also concentrate on your head position. So it's in the, you can think that it's in the same line as your uh, sternum and your belly button. So you have this line here and also if you look from the side it's your head and your ribcage and your pelvis on the same line. Of course it's, it doesn't, it shouldn't be like really rigid like this so you're not contracting all your muscles. It should be still, you should be able to be relaxed enough. But these are just some basic guidelines that it's really useful to think about. So, if you have any thoughts about uh, the rider's head position or anything else, just put your comments down below. I'm so happy to read them. And uh, I think that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!